Yo. Gerald, dude, have you seen this? Seen what? Dude, there's an old phone down here, and it's got like the like the spinny things on it, and it goes in a circle, and and uh, what, do, what do they call those? A right. It's a rotary phone. That's it. It's a rotary phone, dude. Dude, it's, it's down. It's in your basement. You gotta come check this out. Uh, nephew. Yeah. You do realize this is my house, don't you? Oh. Well, I'm sorry. Hey, Jerry. It's my special boy. And we're going to make lemonade out of this lemon. That's right, buddy. And that's what we do. All righty, here we are back at the beginning. Now, I flew into Chicago O'Hare Airport and my uncle, who lives in Indiana, came and picked me up. Then we came back to his house. Now this was pretty special because this was the first time I have actually visited his house. Uh, he just recently moved there about two years ago, but me being from Virginia, I hadn't had the opportunity to come visit, so I was very excited about that. Now here we are, making the final preparations to set off out west. Now our ultimate goal was to make it to Mount Rushmore first, and then head on to the east entrance of Yellowstone. It took us a long day of driving through Chicago, and then another day of driving through Minnesota. Here you can see the windmills. Wow, Jerry, I think we're in Minnesota now. Yeah. Yeah. And Wisconsin, and uh, of course we, I guess the order would be Wisconsin, then Minnesota. And then we came to South Dakota. Ah, oh, South Dakota. <laughs> Jerry and I loved going through South Dakota. South Dakota. Uh, <laughs> to be honest, there's not a lot there. <laughs> we just got a little road weary of kind of going straight all the time. <laughs> and it lasted for a really long time. And if you look out there, you will see a whole lot of nothing. And if you look that way and pretty much everywhere, 360 view of nothing. It's amazing. So after two fairly hard days of driving, we made it to our first destination. Ladies and gentlemen, here we are at Mount Rushmore. My Uncle Jerry and I are on our way to... Golly, where are all the places we're going to, Uncle Jerry? Well, for starters, we're going to Yellowstone. And then hopefully it's on to Glacier National Park and quite possibly Banff in Canada. Yeah. It'll be the National Park Trilogy, the Rocky Mountain Trilogy. Where are we staying? Cabela's parking lot. And our, why is that? RV, because it's free. Because it's free and we have an RV. We're traveling in an RV. Yes. And they allow that. It's legal. Yeah. They do it at Walmart too. Yes. So, obviously this is more of a sunrise shot because the sun's setting behind it, but it's really something. Kind of a good way to start off our trip to see Mount Rushmore. And we're hopefully going to hit the east entrance of Yellowstone tomorrow. We're hoping. We're hoping. That's what we're shooting for. Pick up where we left off last year. That's right. It'll be a pick up where we left off thing. <laughs> so my uncle and I woke up bright and early the next morning to find that the lights didn't work on the tow car. So it took us a little while to get that fixed and then set off. Here we are. In Wyoming, we finished off the last bit of South Dakota, and we started to get our first glimpse of the Rocky Mountains. And let me tell you, I was one happy camper <laughs> when we got to see the Rocky Mountains, because that long straight driving in South Dakota was getting pretty old, needless to say. So we did not make it to the east entrance of Yellowstone this day, but we did make it to a place called Grey Bull in Wyoming, and we found a little camp site there and that's where we stayed to rest because we were tired folks all right we're ready to shove off we're disconnected the tow car is in neutral tow switch is on let's go shall we let's do it and the tow car must not be in neutral it's 
we're not budget. Oh! <laughs> whoa, whoa, emergency brake. Maybe that was it. Because I felt sure I put the in neutral. And that's all the difference in the world right there. <laughs> Later. Hey, bud. You think I can get in that there McDonald's right there? I'm tired. I, I, want, I just want to get in. I don't want to wait in line. Can I walk through the drive through well, it's probably, okay, I'll see you later. I'm gonna go up to the window and see what I can do here. Howdy, ma'am. Hello, how are you? Can I just get, can I order a ride? Sure. No, I'm sorry, you gotta, you gotta go and get the McDonald's app and you've gotta download it. But it, um, it takes forever, so just, just telling you. Okay, well, I, I got some money right here. Can, can I just pay you right here? I talked to this, this fella behind me. He don't mind none. I got here, I, I'll show you my, my AARP card. Will that give me a discount? Okay. Thank you. Okay. I'm going to walk over here. Thank you, bud. We'll see you. Two hours later. Do we have a fire here? I think we have a fire. Where there's smoke, there's fire. Yes, and there's definitely smoke. We can smell it and see it. When we left Buffalo Bill Cody, Wyoming, there was a sign. It was a like a digital letter sign that said, road closed 22 miles ahead due to fire. Well, we wanted to come on and see if we could get through anyway. And we're coming up on the fire. Getting closer and closer and we do not see a road closed sign. It's a very odd structure on top of that hill. Yes, it is. I don't know what that is, but that looks very different. Yeah. And we we still got a ways to go though for the fire. It looks like. Yeah. Yep, they're turning this around. Three hours later. Can you move it along? I'm all out of time cards. Well, here we are. It's us. It's us. <laughs> we're at the campground in Cody, Wyoming. And the reason why we're here is because we couldn't get through <coughs> earlier, whenever you saw all the smoke and all that. So, we came back a little disappointed, but we're gonna make the evening better. We turned that frown upside down. That's right. And we're gonna make lemonade out of this lemon. That's right, buddy. And that's what gonna, we do. We're gonna make some awesome food tonight. We're gonna yeah. grill out. Yeah. Like yeah. real men, you know? Buffalo. And it's appropriate because we're here in uh, uh, Wild Bill Buffalo Cody's town. And we're having buffalo in, uh, well, it's close to Buffalo, Wyoming. Heck yeah. Yeah. And here we have, prepared by the chef, Jari, buffalo, and chips. <laughs> Not buffalo chips, it's buffalo and chips. And chips. Potato chips. <laughs> yeah. And now, we will say grace. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for the many blessings that are ours. Lord, we pray that we can be ever mindful of your presence. Give us a good, safe trip. This is food for nourishing our bodies in Jesus' name.
Amen. Amen.